Hey guys, today we're going to drive an automatic car. We're going to show you how to drive. So let's just get into the car, unlock, open the door, and let's show you the pedals. I'm just going to bring the seat back a little bit and get in. Alright, so once you get into your automatic car with your driving instructor, this is what the car looks like. Here's a gear stick. Let me just move that out of the way. Alright, so the first thing to understand is there's only two pedals as you can see. I'm going to relax my left foot here. This is a brake and this is a gas. Now we're going to position our foot like this. So we can pivot across from the brake to the gas. I myself, I'm just going to use my right foot to use the pedals. I know some people learn to drive like this. Um, I don't think most instructors would recommend this. We're going to use only one of our foot like this, brake or gas. Now, comment below, what do you guys prefer? Do you want to drive like this? Or do you find it easier to drive like this? Comment below what you guys think. As a teacher, we teach to drive like this. We've got one foot on the brake or the gas, with our right foot and the left foot relaxing. Now, when you get to the car, you're going to have to set the seat up. So there's a lever between the seat. Brings the seat forward. And you can bring it back to give yourself some space. You can bring the steering wheel up and down as well. If I push the lever in, there's a lever on the side. You can go in and out. You can put the lever back in. So that's the pedals for you. Let's go through the gear stick of an automatic car. Let me just show it to you. So you have the P, R and D. These are the main ones you need to know in your automatic car in our car there's a lever here you have to press the lever in order to adjust the gears okay to start the car some automatic cars you're gonna have to press the brake and then start the car and sometimes you wouldn't in order to move the gear stick on this car the foot has to be on the brake, you press the button and then adjust the gear stick accordingly. So P is park, right now we're stationary, we're going to leave it in park. It goes without saying, R is reverse, N is neutral, when would you use neutral you could ask. Maybe your car's broken down and you need it to be towed away, you might put it in neutral for example. And then finally D is drive. So when you're driving off, you're going to put it in D. B is, um, it's not as braking engine, you might have also L. Um, so if you're going uphill or downhill, you're going to be using B or L in certain cars. If you bring it down here for a little bit, you can also press the parking brake when you're stationary by using this button here. And then hold, some cars is called A, it's called hold, it de depends on the car. If you press it, as you're driving, if you release your foot off the brake, the car will start moving. Start moving automatically on our automatic car. If you press the button hold and leave it on the setting, as you release it, the car won't move. Only until you press the gas, the car will start moving. So why is that quite good to have? Maybe you just want to relax your feet. So you let go and the car will stay stationary. Again, certain cars, it will just stay stationary automatically. So that's how you're going to drive an automatic car. Now, before you move off, once you start the car, there's certain things you have to learn to drive. So for example, the examiner will ask you to do your six-point check. You check your left corner here. You check the left mirror in the window down there. You check the interior mirror. Just so you know how to set the mirror, I'll set that in a little bit. Then you check the right mirror and then finally the right blind spot. So every time you move off, do your six point check. Let's just show you how to adjust the mirror so it's safe for you to drive. We're gonna use, let's use the right side of the mirror. And put the keys in. Alright, oh, there's the keys. 
And we're just gonna turn the accessories on. Again, just so you know how to take the keys out in the car. That's to, that's to turn the accessories on. We just turned it once. So you can see the car engine is not on, the accessories are on. So now I can adjust the mirrors. So if you look here, to adjust the mirrors, you move it left or right. You move it to the right. And then you just move the left. Now let me show you. I just push it in and then out accordingly. So how much of the car do you want to see? Let me just push it in. You want to see roughly this much of the car. And you want to see the corner of the window or the door handle in the corner there. So you can see this corner here, this corner here is roughly in the middle. Or you can see the door handle. I'll just move it in. The door handle there is in the corner of the window. And you want to see more of the road. Don't worry about the little small mirror. That's to help your driving instructor to see the blind spot and also it helps you to see the blind spot when you're driving as well as when you're doing your maneuvers. Let me move it to this side of the mirror. So if I move it to move this little bar to the left and then adjust accordingly. So again, I'm just gonna push it in. So and there's a corner of the door handle, it's in, it's in the setting, and that's pretty much it. That's how you're gonna adjust the mirrors accordingly. And the back mirror, you want to see this top line in line with the top of the back window. So that way, there you go, you can see the whole of the back street, the whole of the window. That's how you're going to adjust the mirrors accordingly. Alright, so again, as you move off, we're not going to start the engine because it's um, illegal to start the engine while operating a handle device. So we're not going to start the engine. Let me, just show you, let me just show you how to take the keys. You have to twist it, push it in and twist it. And then take it, you have to push in. All right, just leave it in there for a bit so I don't forget. Now, this is how you open the bonnet. You're gonna lift this lever up. You're gonna, you're gonna need to know how to operate the bonnet when you do the show me, tell me question. So you lift it up and then, and then you can open the bonnet accordingly. There's about five questions are gonna be asked. All right. Now, let's just go through the accessories here, which you need to know. That's a front demister. That's a rear demister. You need to know these. This is on my side. Down is the left indicator. Up is a right indicator. And on this side, you got the wipers. Alright guys, so hopefully that was quite useful. This is how you're going to drive an automatic car.